good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today we're gonna talk about Z game editor and how to edit the presets of Z game editor I want to say shout out to Somu Peace I hope I pronounced that right they hit me with a comment um showing love and um, also had a question saying how to edit the text in the presets of the Z game editor like its default is author and song but how am I supposed to edit those now that I think about it, when I, I haven't used the presets much, but I opened it up and I saw that it wasn't as straightforward as it could be. So let's just open up a random preset. All right, you know, something like this. This is pretty cool, you know, pretty sick. But the person's talking about the author and song title right here. Now, most of you who use Z Game Editor, you would think you'd have to go to add content text. And it says this is the default text. But when I type stuff in there, I mean, no, nothing shows up. So it is a little confusing. The reason why is because these Z Game Editor presets, most of them are using HTML to have the text and stuff in here. HTML is like a web browser coding um, language type shit like that, but it's also used in a lot of things, a lot of different programs. Now, to actually change the text here, you got to go to the add content, you got to go to the HTML tab. And if you just Go down here to this scroll bar and you move it to the right. You can see right about here it says author and title. I mean, if you're familiar with um, HTML, you'll understand this. But if you're not, right in between these little uh, brackets or whatever these are called, it has the text. And you want to put in your text right in the brackets, okay, right where it says author. So to change that text, we just want to highlight that spot. Even those little brackets, not the greater than or less than um, symbols, just those little brackets. And let's put in just my name, for example. Or, you know, you put in your name for this, obviously. And then you can go to title and do the same thing. We'll call it. As you can see, that is how you change the text there. A little um, confusing because it's not directly under the text tab. But yeah, keep that in mind. The HTML is where a lot of stuff is used. Um, even when you're in the HTML tab, you can see what all of these um, things kind of mean, what some of the things mean, some of the commands over here. Let's try another preset. We'll just do a random one. See, this one's really cool. But in the same thing here in this HTML, you can see author, title, extra one. Comment, extra two, extra three. So as you can see on here, extra one would be right here. Extra two over here, extra three. And it's really small on here, but, you know, there's a bunch of cool presets. You can use this, these buttons right here to sift through the presets. Some really cool ones like that one right there is super sick. But yeah, um, you know, just make sure you go into the HTML tab, highlight where you want to put in the text, make sure you're not highlighting the greater than or less than, because if those symbols aren't there, the HTML code will not work. Just highlight those little square brackets with the author, you know, type away. But yeah, I hope this video did bring you value. I just wanted to do something quick and help out the homie that was asking. But I also want to say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers, for real. Like from the bottom of my heart, that means so much. I've been on this journey for a while. I've been doing YouTube ever since a little kid. Obviously not making beats on YouTube, but um, I've tried a bunch of different things and I'm very grateful to be able to have this community building and, you know, be able to help all of you with the knowledge that I know. So let's just continue to keep growing and striving. But with that being said, make sure you always be getting it. Stay safe out there and for real, always strive on your craft. Much love, everybody. Peace.